M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So if you've still got your FTM100D with the latest firmware, you've still got some excellent functions there with PDN mode, which looks like this, and you can use it with HRI mode, where it allows you to analog rooms, or that generally I recommend just use the, the digital mode with the SCU20 or 56 cable, 58 kit, and the cable looks like this and um, you could be just by the cable and you get an old SCU 20 cable you can get them for about 40 pound it gets you into the wires x system so you are going to need to register so then they send you a room number and a node number now you to get your own room you really you need your um, hri 200 box but this is still fine because the wires x pdn system is vast you get all these users and rooms and it's very simple to use and i will show you how to set this up so We'll have a look at the the connections on the on the radio. So to register, just click member registration here, and then you have this section here where you can put your email in here. Send. They'll send you a form. Fill out the form. You're going to need your radio ID, which I'll show you in the next part of the video. Once you've sent that, then they will a couple of days later send you your room and node number, and we'll set the radio up. And after we've set the radio up, we'll do first time activation. To get your FTM100 ready for PDN mode or HRI mode, you're going to need an SCU cable. This one is the SCU20, but the latest is the SCU56. And you're gonna to need to get your radio into either PDN mode, which is digital only, or HRI mode. So PDN mode, you would turn off the radio, hold down the DX button, and turn it on. And you're in direct mode or when it says on the radio pdn or if we turn it off and you do the same to come out of the mode as well but hold both the orange buttons that's the dx and the gm quite fiddly there you are it's waiting for connection now but now you're in hri mode this is the one that actually will allow an analog connection if you've got the proper kit, which is an ad additional cables that attach to the SCU cable. Let's just show you where the SCU cable plugs into the back of the radio and the fact that we're using a dummy load. So you can see the SCU cable is plugging in here. It's a 10 pin plug and it only goes in one way round. So you need to make sure you get that the correct way round. And then we've just got a dummy load in here because once you're in PDM mode, uh, if you go into what they call access mode, where you can use an external handheld to go via the FTM100, almost treating the FTM100 like a hotspot, um, yeah, then this radio will be transmitting to the radio, to any radio, digital radio, C4FM, that you've got in the house, so that's important. The other thing that is important, you are going to need the latest firmware, and you're going to need your radio ID. To get your radio ID, hold down the DISP button, turn the knob till you get to GM and push the DISP button and then go down to number 4 radio ID, push DISP and there's your radio ID number there on mine, it's F5NNE, so that's important, then check the firmware. To look up firmware, hold down DISP, go to number 13, DISP then go all the way down to software, DISP, and just make sure you've got the latest firmware. Look on the Yesu site for that. You also need to register with the WiresX system to get your node and room number for the WiresX PDN system. Okay, let's get this going. So we've got our node number and room number from Yesu. So let's have a go at first time activation on this FTM100. So we'll double click WiresX. Now, where did we get this software from? Once you've been accepted, you'll be able to log into your account. And if you go to node owners page here, they send you all the software you need. So version X PC software, just download that, run the zip. And within that, they also uh, have lots of instruction manuals and the any drivers you may need for your SCU cable. So back at the radio, just grab your radio, turn it off and hold down both the orange buttons and turn it on. Hold them down so you hear them both click. 
and your radio will say Y is X. Now go to your, you've got your cable plugged into your laptop, so just right click device manager here, or you can just click it on this square and double click and there is COM2 there. So we're looking for COM2, you can refresh if you want, and go to COM2 and click OK. The first thing it's going to do is ask you for those numbers that Yesu sent you. So put them in the lower number first. So mine is 79252. And then the other one is just a 8. And then it'll be the same digits, 9252. So one is a node number, one is a room number. But if you haven't got the HRI 200 box, then you don't, really, you don't get your own new room. So click ID entry. And give it a couple of minutes to uh, set. Now there's set. There are seconds it, settings here you can play with, but at the moment I would just say do nothing to get used to the system. Just giving that a minute to boot up. Once you boot it up, the radio, if it displays a frequency, it means you're in access mode. Now what that means is that you can use a walkie-talkie C4FM to, to use the FTM100 as if it's a hotspot, but what we're going to do is push the AB button and it will say direct mode. Now we can use the microphone and the radio as normal. So we do need to connect to a room. Now, if you look here, if it's the first time you've seen this kind of page, the, the middle section here where my mouse is, is the user IDs and the bottom section are the room IDs. And you can actually uh, create shortcuts here in this section here at the top which is where I have some existing shortcuts. So I'll just show you how to create a shortcut. Just select one, right click and click add to bookmark list and it will add it here, okay? So another way of connecting is go connect, connect to, and you get this small little window appear here and you could type in a number of someone. I've got 21080 is America Link and 27793 is CQUK. So let's select CQUK and we'll click okay. And a call will start. Now this is a movable box here, this blue one. Are all the people connected to CQ UK? At the moment, there's no activity. When there is, they, it goes green here on the top left. You've got some further information here. And then this box is actually like a QSL card and you can save it, your own photograph there and you can exchange QSL photographs and, and you can actually save and download a card, but the user has to have enabled that. So anyway, is someone there talking now? There you go, and I can have a chat with um, that station, no problem at all, just by keying the mic. Now there's no RF involved at all at the moment, because we're in direct mode, it's just using the SCU cable, which you can see here. But it's per it is always a perfect connection, uh, as good as the connection coming in, and it's definitely the most reliable way of using wires X. So if you want to use what they call access mode, you need to get yourself a dummy load into the back of the radio and then push AB. And what's happened now is the FTM 100 has now become a hotspot and is now transmitting and receiving to the handheld that you can see in the background. So that should come to life now when someone speaks. And then I can walk around the handheld uh, in range of my house upstairs, downstairs, and use the system. So you can see there, all the audio is now coming out of my handheld. And so that, that's an excellent system as well. And the FTM 100, 300, 400, they all do this. I'm just showing you on the 100. So if we go back to AB, that's direct mode. AB again, now just to show you how to change the frequency, if you want to set a different frequency in your handheld, just go File, Transceiver, and see this section here, 434550, change that frequency, click Apply, and the radio will reboot and have that frequency on it for you. Another handy one is the timeout, if I remember this, let's go to Settings, and we'll see if I can remember it, Core Settings, General Settings, you want Unlimited Timeout selected here, Unlimited Timeout, otherwise it will keep timing out. I mean, there's so much more you can do. Like I said, you can um, right click and connect to rooms. You can connect using this box. Uh, let's right click this one here, America Link Connect. There you are. And, we'll, and it's coming out of the handheld again. 
FT5. Now you can use this system. You can actually use this system with the Yaesu FT5 and the FT3 and the FT2 if it's just the SCU20 cable. You can use the Wise XPDN system and the FTM400. But I'm just showing you here on the FTM100. So I hope you find this interesting. It helps you set up your PDN mode. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. I'll catch you on air. Please remember to like, subscribe if you're finding these videos helpful. Bye for now.